Welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program to retrieve a user's Twitter friends, parse the returned JSON response, and extract and display some of the information about the friends. So the main intention of this particular program is to retrieve the user's uh, Twitter friends. So once you extract the Twitter friends, uh, the return uh, data will be in the form of uh, JSON. So we need to uh, pass that particular JSON data and extract some of the information uh, about that particular friends and then display it to the user. So if you want to extract any data from the Twitter, uh, we need to create a, a Twitter application first because uh, Twitter is a, a secured application. We cannot directly access the information from Twitter directly. So what we need to do is we need to create one uh, Twitter application and then we need to generate uh, the four uh, keys like uh, consumer key, consumer secret, token key and token secret. So if you want to create a Twitter application, we need a developer account. So what we need to do is uh, we need to go to developer.twitter.com and then uh, we need to apply for a developer account. Once the developer account is uh, approved, we can create a Twitter application and generate four keys uh, which can be used for authorization to the uh, Twitter. The the steps to create a developer account and uh, how to generate uh, the four API keys was dis uh, discussed in the previous video. The link for the video is given in the description below. If you want to watch, you can watch it and then proceed with the program. So once you generate uh, the four keys, uh, place all uh, four keys into a function called uh, auth function. So this is the first key that is consumer key, consumer secret. Uh, this is uh, the token key and this last one is a token secret. Now, uh, once uh, you have placed all these uh, four keys, we can continue with our uh, actual part of the program. So when you come with your program, uh, we need to import some of the libraries. So in this case, uh, the first library is a uh, URL lib dot request. So why we need URL lib dot request? What happens is, uh, let us say that I want to extract uh, the information or uh, content of a web page. So what I can do is I can pass a URL of that particular web page to URL lib.request. It will return you the content of that particular web page. Okay. So in this case, I want to extract uh, the Twitter friends of a particular user. For example, if I uh, give a username like XYZ, I want to uh, get the response like uh, the friends of that uh, user XYZ. So that uh, the information is available in a standard uh, Twitter URL. Uh, this is the standard Twitter URL where you can find the uh, Twitter's uh, Twitter friends of a particular user. But if I pass this URL directly to URL lib dot request, it will generate or it will give you a bad authentication error. The reason is very simple. Uh, this uh, Twitter is a secured application. We cannot directly use this uh, URL to extract the friends of a particular user. What we need to do is we need to pass some of the things like what is the user uh, whose friends information we want to extract, how many friends information we want to extract. That is the second thing we need to up, uh, add it to this particular URL. Along with that, we need to uh, attach the four keys which were extracted in the previous uh, step. So once you do that particular thing, uh, you will be getting a complete URL. You can pass that URL to URL lib dot request. It will give you the friends information. So uh, how, how to attach uh, this uh, screen name count as well as uh, the four keys. So there comes the TW URL. That is the second uh, library we are importing here. So the task of TW URL is what uh, it will take the standard URL and it will attach the screen name count and then these four keys and it will create a complete or you can say that the final uh, URL which can be used to extract the uh, friends uh, information. So that is uh, what the use of a TW URL. And uh, uh, when we get information from Twitter, it will be in the form of uh, JSON. So we need to parse uh, the data uh, using a JSON library. So that's the reason we have imported one more library called JSON. So this is the standard URL where uh, we have the friends uh, information. Now we need to read a username. Uh, whose uh, friends information we want to extract. So store that particular username into ACCT. Next, uh, what we do is uh, we will use uh, a function called as augment function. That is uh, 
that function is defined in twurl. So what this augment function does is it will take two parameters. The first parameter is the standard URL. That is, this is the standard URL. And the second parameter is actually a dictionary consisting of uh, key and value pairs. So key will be the screen name and what is the screen name? That is the value. And another key is the count and how many number of uh, friends information you want. Uh, in this case, uh, just for understanding purpose, I have taken one. Uh, we will increase it at the later stage. So I want uh, one friend's information like uh, what is the friend name, uh, what is the recent tweet he has made and so on. Such kind of information I want to extract here. So once you pass these two as a parameter to augment, dot, uh, augment uh, function, what it does is uh, it will attach the screen name count as well as these four keys and it will form a complete URL. So that URL will be stored into a variable called uh, URL in this case. So next what we have done is uh, we are uh, printing uh, that URL what is the complete URL here just to understand it and later we have used URL lib dot request library the function is URL open that is the function which is defined in URL lib dot request. So once you pass URL this is this complete URL to URL open uh, it will uh, open that particular uh, web page. Once you open that web page we need to read the content that is the friends information. Once you read the content, uh, we need to decode it. It will be in the form of bytes, convert that in thing into string and then store that data into data. So what data contain? The data contains the friends information right now. It is an object. It is not uh, the, uh, the primitive uh, variable here. It is an object. So we cannot directly display it or we cannot directly use it for our purpose. So what we need to do is uh, we need to load it uh, using JSON uh, uh, library. So there is a function called as loads uh, in JSON and then we can pass this uh, data as a parameter to it. So once you load this uh, data uh, using loads function, uh, we can use it for uh, the further processing. Now JS contain uh, the, the data which is in the form of JSON. Now we try to print it out. Okay, so if you want to print it, uh, I just remove this part of the indent. I just show you why it is really necessary. So what I'm trying to do is uh, if you want to print any JSON data, uh, we need to use a dumps function. So JSON.dumps load this uh, display this particular JSON data. Okay, so remaining things we'll see it later. Up to here, uh, what is the output we'll get? We'll try to see. So I just execute it and then I will give the username as uh, my, my username only. So this is a complete URL. Uh, you can If you can see this URL, uh, up to here is a standard URL and then uh, consumer key timestamp uh, you can see here screen name is attached as well as count and so on. Everything is attached and a complete URL is present over here. Now, if you see the output, it's very difficult to understand. There is no proper uh, indentation or uh, it's very difficult to understand this output. It's a big output, first of all, and it's very difficult to understand. So that is the reason what we do is uh, uh, we use something called as indent is equal to 2 while displaying any JSON data so that it will be displayed in a proper format. So just execute it once again with the same URL or a username. You can see the output now. The output is uh, still it is a bit difficult to understand, but still uh, it is uh, displayed in a proper format. That is what actually we can say. Okay, so this is how actually the output will look like. Now, uh, if you want to understand this the output, so just go through this particular thing first of all. So the output starts here. That is uh, with a curly brace. Within that uh, curly brace means it is a dictionary consisting of key and value pair. The first key is users here. So first key in this case is users and it starts here. You can see here this is the starting place. And if you just scroll down to the last, it will end here. It will end here. So the first element is users. So users contain what we can say that uh, the list of users. And uh, uh, we can see that it starts over there and it ends over here. Now after that uh, we have some more fields like uh, next cursor, next cursor str, previous cursor, previous cursor str and total count. So these are the different uh, keys are there and then associated values we have. So totally if you can see uh, at the uh, outer side we have uh, 6 keys, over here we have 5 keys and one more keys you can say that users. So all the user information is present within this users field. So what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, get the value of this particular users and then we need to get the name of a particular user what is the last tweet he has done and so on all those things we can get it at the later stage so uh, whenever we uh, we 
uh, try to get or we, we try to uh, pass this particular JSON, we need to start passing here because uh, the user information is present over here. And uh, each user information or uh, the user information is present in the form of list. So the first user information starts here and it ends all the way here because we have only one uh, user information, it ends over here. If you have one more user information, for example, uh, friend information, there will be one more like uh, there will be a comma and then there will be one more uh, friends uh, information over here. So depending on that, uh, we will be getting the output. So right now uh, it ends here, it, it started the first place. So there is only one uh, user information right now. Now what we do is uh, we need to parse it uh, like uh, we need to get the content out of it. So what we have done in the next line is we have used for loop. So what is that for loop is for u in js of users. So I'm not just passing here JS is pointing. That is what uh, the thing JS is nothing but entire data. JS is pointing here. If I just use uh, uh, for you in JS, it is pointing it over here. And then we need to use what uh, we need to use users and then use uh, name and so on. That's not possible. Okay. So what we do here is uh, because it's a list, the user is nothing but you can say that a list. We cannot use that particular thing. So what we do is rather than pointing it here, we point it here like for you in JS users. So where we are pointing, we are pointing it over here. So we get the output, uh, the one element of this particular uh, users. So how many elements are there in this case? There is only one element which starts here, which ends at the last place. So if you have uh, two friends, there will be two elements. So right now there will be only one element. Uh, U is pointing here now because uh, what we have done for you in JS of users. So it will give you one one user detail at in each iteration. So there is only one uh, user. So you will be pointing here. If there is one more user, uh, the first user ends here. Okay, there will be a comma and then the curly brace starts here. So you will point here at the next iteration. The same thing will be for, for the different uh, users. We need some different information like uh, uh, screen name, location or something like that. We can display it over here. So you is pointing where once again, you is pointing at the first user. Okay. So I want a screen name. So how can I do that? Uh, U of screen name will give you screen name of that particular person. Uh, sometimes I want uh, the text part. Let us say that I want uh, the location. You can see a screen name I have printed. I want location. So what I can do in that case is uh, just copy this particular line and then I paste it here. I want a location. So what I can do is I just write uh, location here. And then what is U of location? So where what is the spelling? Just check it out. Location. So it will give you the location. What is the location? Balgam. So that is how the thing is. So for example, I want description. So what I can do? I can uh, just copy and paste it here. Uh, here I want a description. So I just uh, write it here. I, I copy and paste. It. That's the best option. I copy it here and then paste it here. Uh, this is the description and then this is description. I want description. So where it is present? U is pointing here. I want screen name, location, description. So something like that I can get it. So if you want name, you can just pass uh, name to that particular U. Now along with that, I want to know what is the recent tweet he has done. So where is that uh, thing present? If you just scroll down, uh, you can find it here, status. It is present under status. There is a text uh, con component. So if you see it once again, U is pointing here. ID, ID, STR, name, screen name, and if you just scroll down the status, this is one more, uh, the first level uh, field here, that is a key, that is status. Now within status, we want, uh, it is again, you can see here, it is not a direct LM, uh, value we have, it is the value is again a dictionary. So we want a text, so U of status of text we need to pass, so that we will get the text part of this particular thing. If you want truncated, u of status of truncated and so on so in this case what i have written u of status of uh, text so text part will be printed to you so if you just scroll down uh, the output you can see the thing uh, previously i was having only the screen name and uh, the text so both of them were printed over here so i do one thing i just execute it one more time and then uh, you can see the output in this case i have included uh, location and description also and then I have included the text part. So location, description, uh, screen name as well as the text part is included in this case. So this is one uh, person. Uh, of, uh, uh, this is a, uh, the the friend of uh, the username what we have passed. For example, I need uh, two friends information. So what I can do is, uh, uh, sorry, I just run it one more time. 
I, I do one thing I just go back here and then I'll make it as 2 and then I will run it one more time uh, the recently who am I, uh, where I'm following uh, those information will be printed to me so I just scroll down and then see so if you just want to see here I uh, can just check it out uh, it's a bit difficult to understand because uh, it's a lengthy output so it starts here this is the first user is here so if you just scroll down uh, the last one must be somewhere here okay it, it ends here you can see here one more ID one more ID str this is the second person what is the name of that particular person uh, India TV news or something like that okay it ends somewhere it should end and then uh, uh, this is the last one because I have only two things so it, it ends here okay and then uh, the entire uh, user information ends here we have the remaining five uh, information at the up, up, uh, outer set and this is the first username and then uh, the location description and text is printed similarly the second username location description and the text part is printed so any number of uh, user uh, friends information you can extract and then display uh, something like this so in this video what we have done is uh, we have understood uh, how to retrieve the user twitter friends uh, the written data will be in the form of json so how to pass that particular json data uh, along with that we have seen how to extract uh, some of the information from uh, friends and display it to the user i hope the program is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends subscribe the channel for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching